U.S. officials say the Biden administration believes it has won assurances from Israel that it will not strike Iranian nuclear or oil sites as it looks to strike back following Iran's missile barrage earlier this month. The officials, who spoke on condition of amenity to discuss private diplomatic discussions, cautioned circumstances could change. The officials noted Israel's track record on fulfilling assurances in the past is mixed and often domestic Israeli politics have upended Washington's expectations. Two sources familiar with Hezbollah's operations say the Lebanese militant group is preparing for a long war of attrition in South Lebanon after Israel wiped out its top leadership. Reuters correspondent Lucy Fielder reports. Three weeks of devastating Israeli blows have diminished Hezbollah's capabilities. But a new military command now directs rocket fire. The operations room was set up 72 hours after the group's leader Sayed Hassan Nasrallah was killed. A Hezbollah field commander and a source close to the group told Reuters. The field commander described the command center as a narrow circle in direct contact with the field and said it operated in total secrecy. Hezbollah has not named a new leader after Nasrallah, with the most likely successor also killed. Israel says its strikes have severely depleted Hezbollah's arsenal and killed hundreds of fighters. But the group still has a considerable stockpile of weapons, and it has yet to use its most powerful precision missiles, four sources familiar with its operations said. Reuters correspondent Lucy Fielder. This is VOA News. The World Food Program warned Tuesday millions across southern Africa face the worst food crisis in decades. Reuters correspondent Fiona Jones reports. There are unprecedented drought conditions in a record five countries. Lesotho, Malawi, Namibia, Zambia and Zimbabwe. WFP's regional officer, Thompson Fury, said this major issue could deepen into a, quote, full-scale humanitarian crisis. A historic drought, the worst food crisis yet, has devastated more than 27 million lives across the region. Some 21 million children in southern Africa are malnourished. WFP is planning to provide food and in some cases cash to more than six and a half million people in the seven hardest hit countries. That would cover the period until the next harvest in March. But the WFP said that it's only received about a fifth of the $369 million it needed. Reuters correspondent Fiona Jones. Turkey is deepening its cooperation with Somalia, this month sending a research ship to look for energy resources. But as Dorian Jones reports from Istanbul, tensions between Somalia and Ethiopia are threatening Ankara's ambitions in the Horn of Africa region. Turkey's research ship Oruç Reis, escorted by Turkish warships, set sail this month from Istanbul to Somalia to search for what are widely believed to be vast energy reserves. The deployment is part of an energy and security agreement between Turkey and Somalia in what analysts say is an accelerating relationship. But they say growing regional tensions could threaten Ankara's aspirations. That is a warning from geopolitical consultant Norman Rickleffs. Turkey needs Somalia and Ethiopia to play well together. Um, and, um, and so this is vitally important for, for Turkish regional ambitions. Tensions have been rising since January when Ethiopia signed a memorandum of understanding with Somaliland, a region that has unilaterally declared independence from Somalia. A Greek official has criticized the outgoing European Commission for failing to forge a common policy to deport migrants and warned war and climate change were increasing global displacement. A deputy minister for migration said Tuesday a landmark European Union migration pact agreed upon earlier this year remained lacking in practical terms. The minister said wars in the Middle East and Africa combined with the effects of climate change would put Europe under continuous long-term pressure.
Thank you for watching. Can you do me a favor? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. That would really help. Thank you and see you again soon.